Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in again. Brian here, and welcome back to Star Ocean, the Divine Forest. We found our dillyweed, fought a bird, fought a really tough bird. That bird may as well have just been the phoenix. That, no matter how much I tried, it just could I was I was ill prepared for that fight. That's all I'm saying. But hopefully. But I made sure that off camera I did like some upgrades to everybody. Made sure that our skills are up again, our skill trees looking good. I've upgraded Doom a bit to go ahead and reflect some abilities that I feel will help me out. Just, just on the off chance you're curious, this is what I decided to do with Duma. I did the extend scan so that way we could go ahead and we could look for items easier. And then Guardian, which gives you 29% VA reduction when blocking with the shield. Okay, I don't even know why I did that one. But then I also did this one too that adds VA gauge. And I did this one which also increases the amount of the that engage gain. So that should be able to power that up faster. We'll be able to gain more VA so that way I can go on and I can keep doing skills and stuff like that. And this is just to keep the VA from dropping so quickly when I do a skill. Pretty sure that's all that is. And honestly, these three are easier to level up than the extend scan is. As you can see, that's like 50 for every time you spread your influence about. Whereas all these are now 20, which is a lot easier. But, still gotta find... The Doom of Gems in order to go and do anything. So, anyways, I believe we're heading back down to the town now. God, I'm glad we beat that bird. Holy crap, man, that was a pain in the butt. Oh, there you go. detected. So, I was thinking of something while I was doing this. Do does. Do they use their skills if they're not equipped? Or... Because I've been, like, adding the skills and stuff like that as I go along, but I'm not sure if they would still use the skills or not if they're not equipped. And I'm not controlling them myself. It's just something I've been thinking about. Next time I get a skill, I'm going to have to kind of do that experiment and see if they'll... Or, like, get an idea of what the skill looks like and then go ahead and just see if they use it when I'm not looking. Like I said, I hate flying enemies. Just for that reason, right there. Alright, we're back on the way to get back to where we need to be. Hostiles eliminated. Yeah, so you say, yet someone's still fighting. Alright, but yep, we're back on our way to get back down to the town. Energy levels low. Batting at maximum. Oh, nice. I don't know who had cast that one, but that was pretty damn cool. It obliterated them, people. Alright. Back into the seaport. Let's see if we can say. Wait a minute. What's this over here? I don't want to talk to you. You're probably one of those stupid Asora people. Finally, some peace and quiet. Oh, Lordy, Lord, Lord, Lord. Oh man, you know what? I gotta rest my weary bones, man. It's been a long. Anyone travel. home? I think we've earned ourselves a little bit of a rest. 
That's actually over Where where are you? I would like a room, please. I went through the wrong door. I would like a room, please. Ah, oh, thank you. I think I'll have some pasta pepperoni pepperoncino. Sure, why not? Scent of the sea breeze carry you away to dreamland. The delicious food you provided me fill my tummy. Yes, mm, this is pretty good. Oh, wait. Have a wonderful day. We look forward. I'll be back. Mm, maybe not, but indeed. I hope you have a wonderful day too. All right, I guess I'll restock real quick. Welcome to the... Yeah, yeah, so I've heard. Get my blueberries! And a little bit of this, please, and some seed. Because you know I went ahead and I did a lot of stupid things. Spine breaker, what the hell are these things? Oh, these are more things I don't care Thank about. Thank you very much. You're Thanks. welcome. Alright, anyways, let's get back to where we need to be. With Theo and the Cure. For all that ails. But alas, we were still unable to find Cleo. Uh, Cleo? Chloe! Chloe! Yes. We still haven't found Chloe. Cleo. Where did I come up with that from? It's not even close. What you got for me, Theo? This is most disturbing news. I assumed the Empire had its claws in our lands, but to think they had sunk so deep. We witnessed plain as day the sort of tests they mean to deploy. To be frank, a laboratory of that scale is not something one woman can conceal. What's more, her friends have been spotted in all corners of the kingdom. Meaning that someone on our side has allowed these Imperial agents to waltz right over our borders. Fantastic. At this rate, it would seem that even I myself will have to fall to my knees and supplicate Maester Felgreed. Can I ask, what's with Midas? Why is he so pig-headed about this? I get that something went down 14 years ago, but what? Dude's clearly got an axe to grind with you people. But after all we've been through, you'd think he'd have a change of heart by now. Can't imagine what happened if he's still pissed. Yes, well... This conversation is not one I feel comfortable being overheard. We cannot know who might be listening in. Sorry, I hate to interrupt, but do you have a second? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. What is it? Commander Theo, I know you'll do your best, but I need you to understand just how valuable these symbols are. He found them growing in one spot and one spot only. Please, your men have to be very careful. We have to protect them, or we'll lose the cure forever. So many lives will be lost. You needn't worry. Trust me when I say I want to rid our lands of this illness just as much as you do. Those herbs are to be delivered to the Consortium, am I correct? Yes, Letizia promised to get me an audience. My men will see they are kept safe. You have my word. And in return, I assume you will discover a more efficient means by which to save our countrymen? Uh, yes, uh, of course! You can count on me, Commander! Though, Letty, I fear your arrival in the capital may not be well received. Your abrupt return after your equally sudden flight will likely raise eyebrows and wag tongues. To that end, perhaps it's best I accompany you. Oh, there we go. Back to Ascendros? Yes. Come to think of it, what you've uncovered is far too important to entrust to my men. What's more, my accompanying you will provide me the opportunity to answer Ray's question. Ah, I nearly forgot. Here. It is news from the capital. A woman by the name of Chloe Canaris, was it? Has been found and is currently being held. Really? And you will never guess who supplied us with this piece of intelligence. Chancellor Neon himself. <gasps> Wait, what? I is that a bad thing, or...? Neon is a Chancellor and a Captain of the Kingsguard, charged with peacekeeping in the realm. 
At first, your friend was assumed to be a refugee from Baldar. Her curious garb and general confusion about the situation, however, well, it led our men to believe the worst. She was suspected of being a spy. What? You locked her up? I swear, you harm one hair on her head! Calm yourself. She will be released once we explain who she is. However, I will do the talking. The Chancellor may not listen to Albi or Letty. I appreciate it. I know you've got other stuff to deal with. Please think nothing of it. This gesture is a trifle compared to what you've done for us. Now then, when do we depart? Right now. Right now it is. As soon as we've made our preparations, we will shove off. Alrighty then. Maybe we'll finally get to get on a boat and go to wherever the heck we gotta go. Very nice. I truly appreciate what you did up on Mount Cotterinth. Do not worry. We will be keeping a close eye on that facility. Good, I want guards there 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, 7 days a week. And you know what they probably should be doing is like taking the seeds from these plants so that way they can grow them in a greenhouse or something like that. So that way, wait, they can't grow them in a greenhouse. First, grow them in a dark place where they're supposed to be grown so that way they can continue to have a supply. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like that would just be something smart. And they did it with the natural herbs. Whatever, that's just the story, a situation I don't even want to get into. It just enrages me. I don't want to talk about it, so we're just going to keep on keeping on. And it's always a sensitive subject for people too, so... We're not here to go ahead and cause trouble. Mm. We're here to have fun, play a game, and enjoy ourselves in the process. Or at least, at least I'm enjoying it. I don't know if you guys are, but... I mean, I hope you guys are. But yeah, anyways. You know, it kind of brings us back like a memory. I used to I used to stream a lot on Twitch. After the year the year I got my transplant, which was like last year. I should talk to him before we meet up with Theo. I did like a lot of streaming on Twitch. A lot of streaming on Twitch. Where was I and Where was I going with this? I lost my train of thought. Ah, a tired brain loses information faster than you get it. Um, what was I gonna say? Whatever, it doesn't matter. I lost it. All right, Albert, what's up, my bro? Alby. Not the look I'd expect from one who's about to reunite with a comrade. And where's your smile? This is what you wanted, isn't it? Returning home with your maester in tow? You seem ready for a funeral. Maester Felgreed's support is but one part of a much larger plan. This will be the first step of many. I feel you. Even with Chloe back, it doesn't mean we're any closer to home. Ray, about that, I've been meaning to ask this for some time. I already know where this is going, and the answers are resounding yes. Ray... We're in this together, right? I've got your back. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. Nope. Still lost it. Still only have my thought. We must return to the capital and report matters regarding both Chloe and the research facility on Mount Cotterinth. Uh, though straight-laced and pig-headed at times, Lord Neon is no villain. I am certain everything is fine. However, we should make for the capital COVID sooner rather than later. Else. Ah. 
I really do hate when I lose my train of thought. It makes me feel so test subjects for a disease. It makes me sick. If this is happening across the kingdom. Maybe it has something to do with like what she was saying. No, I don't think that's it. Whatever, I give up. Finally gonna meet up with Chloe. Where the hell is everyone? Guess I'll wait for him at the gates. He's right, they're right here. Traveling to the royal capital is unexpected. I will not be setting foot within the castle, however. Yeah, you say that, but you'll probably follow us right here. More than likely. Alright, so it says I can't go. Oh, Elena. Ah. What's up, Elena? I have a proposal, though I'm sure you'll reject it. We should take our leave of Leticia and the others once we've secured Chloe. Is that oh. some kind of joke? You're not really one for comedy. They're assisting us in rescuing Chloe in return for our help in seeing Midas to the royal city. Which, in my opinion, they should be able to do on their own with Theo's aid. An unidentified developed planet holds some malevolent sway over Aster 4. Your safety, as well as Chloe's, could become compromised should we involve ourselves any further. I'm sure we'll be fine. Come on now. Ray. Yeah, come on. We're in our 30s. Antonio's going to be swooping into the rescue any moment now. And besides, Nina's counting on you. What if Antonio's the whole reason for the problem? Do you really think we can just turn our backs on them now? I am only making a pragmatic recommendation as your first mate. I will defer to your judgment. Though begrudgingly. Okay, drop the heady talk and don't worry. I'll know when we're in too deep. You're already in too deep. I hope you are right. Ray! Elena! Sorry for the wait! No worries. Shall we hit the old dusty trail? Yes, let's. I mean... Didn't Elena already say that by finding the cure for Helgar's disease, we've already interfered with the development of the planet as it is? I'm pretty sure she said that. So, I mean, what would be the difference if we continue to help? Allies who temporarily accompany you are called guest characters. You cannot control guest characters, but some of them will fight alongside you. Plus, they cannot become incapacitated. Well, that's good to know, I guess. Sweet! I got five people on my party now. Man, that's almost an unfair advantage now. Alright, I gotta look at this real quick. Hey there, adventurers. Have you ever seen a soul reaper? Yes, I have. I've seen them in my dreams. They're scaring me. In my dreams, I see a snowy mountain. And in flood of them come from out of nowhere. Can you beat up the reaper somehow? Please, help me. I've already done it already. What? Oh. Uh. <laughs> I've already beat it. You believe me, don't you? Everyone else thinks it's just a dream and makes fun of me. Alright, I should have done that. I have actually defeated death already. Brace for a fight. <laughs> Watch your step. <laughs> Love you. Oh, oh, you the I overdid it. Oh, yeah, Syrian high road. Alright, time we blitz this. Target acquired. Oh, 
<laughs> we gotta get back quickly. So we may. It's the royal capital of Sendros. I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous about going to the city. To reach the right. royal capital, take the Osirian. <laughs> it looks to be rather far. We should be wary of monsters while we travel. One. Energy levels low. I should start using the um the the vading more often. I kinda don't want to though, because it seems like it'd be such a waste to use it on these low-level scrubs. And I guess they're not really low-level scrubs, but it just seems like a waste to use it on them, you know? Especially when they're not even that strong to begin with. All right. Ooh, well, well. Here. Leave it to the daughter of Maester DeForge to have actually found a cure for the hell Oh, I'm sorry. Time to understand that the kingdom of Osirius and the Vale Empire are on the verge of war. Elena, if my comments on such matters were perchance overheard by others, it would be taken as public record. Well, what can you say? The situation is delicate. The Empire is going to great lengths to exert pressure on Osirius. Even now, they encroach by land and sea. I'm sure that's the extent someone of your station would be able to disclose. Well, is there any possibility of war breaking out at our current destination? Do you truly think a knight commander of royal blood such as I would deign to suggest the royal city be in any danger? Forget it, Elena. We'll find out for ourselves soon enough anyway. Right. I was just curious. Please excuse me. You've nothing to apologize for, or worry about. I don't intend on allowing harm to come to any friend of Letty's. Sorry about that. She's a huge worrywart. <laughs> and a caring ally too, it would seem. Take good care of her. That's right. I don't think Theo knows that, that Elena is an android. Yeah, he imagined what would happen for a child in that house. He'd probably flip his wig and be like, What? The heck kind of technology is this? This is crazy talk over here. He'd probably lose his crap just like um, Midas did when he first found out about her. I always like these, these capital cities. They're always so beautiful, beautifully done. God, so pretty. What a beautiful city. Yeah. At a cursory glance, it is not too late to turn back. 
After all the effort it took to get here? I understand you, Maester Felgreed. But I will defer to Ray's judgment. As is your want, there is work to be done. Let us yeah. make haste to the royal palace. We should not keep Chancellor Neon waiting. Right. Yeah, it's pretty sense, As you um... see, the royal palace is to the north. We should head there. I can't yeah, believe how huge it is! I'm truly honored. And yet I find all this stain. Um, I gotta go around this way, I've seen. Thought that was a gate that I could go through, but apparently I was wrong. The royal palace. Are these guys fighting it's over even here. More imposing up close. Am I get in the Neon middle of is something for I us not inside. in the middle of. Wow. Oh, I can't God. believe all these people know Leticia. It goes to show how close the crown is to its people. Yes, she does enjoy some popularity. Will she truly have need of my help? <laughs> I am much obliged, Maester. Let like... us make our way to the castle. We're already here. Where is he? Oh, he's not in the party, that's right. <laughs> I might be like, I'm not stepping foot in the castle. Castle of Sirius. Princess Leticia! I am mad I at you! I appreciate the warm reception, Neon. I when I heard like your little reception. excursion from Commander Theo, my heart stopped. Whatever were you thinking, Sir Albert? Her really? Highness had a very good reason. Did you truly think yourself solely capable of protecting the princess? A one-man army? Or... Calm yourself, Neon. We have brought Leticia back safely. And what's more... This recklessness on her part was not in vain. As of this moment, all she has accomplished is worrying me near to death! <sighs> this is precisely why I hate the royal palace. Where do you think you are off to? Somewhere I can give your arm a proper examination. Come when you are ready. Who in heavens is that man? How dare he speak in such a manner before royalty? He means no offense. That is Maester Midas Felgreed. Please show him the utmost respect. Midas... Uh, Midas Felgreed? Him? I apologize for my long absence from the Royal Palace, Neon. But I would ask a favor regarding the matter Commander Theo brought to your attention. Ah, uh, perhaps you speak of the prisoner we captured near Baldar. <sighs> Huh. Might these be the strange companions I've heard the princess has been traveling with? Without the aid of these two, my journey would have been all the more arduous. The kingdom owes them a debt of gratitude. Very well, Princess Leticia. I will send word to notify the general of your safe return. No need. Let us first arrange a meeting that these two may be swiftly reunited with their ally. But, Your Highness, uh... I was led to understand that none were aware of my absence prior to Commander Theo's report, yes? Surely news of my return can be delayed? <sighs> I see. <laughs> Very well, Princess. It may yet take some time, however, as the prisoner is currently being held in the Baldar Citadel. You must arrange for her immediate release. I understand your urgency, but I cannot make any immediate promises that the prisoner will be set free. We can discuss the matter further. If you would follow me to the council chamber. Ooh, this is gonna be problematic. They're saying they're not, uh, there's a possibility they won't let her go. Fast, 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 I am fast, impressed fast. you had the wherewithal not to speak up back there. Well, I know Leticia and Theo will keep their promise. Fast, fast, fast. If I had butted in, it likely would have just complicated matters. Fast, 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 I fast, will fast, have fast. to admit, I was worried you were on the verge of fast, opening up. Yes, Anything I, I might have said would have paled right in here. comparison to how she handled yes. it. father will not be joining us? Oh, have you not heard? His Majesty is leading the frontline defensive at Baldar at the behest of Captain Bertrand. Oh, he is that... where? 
Isn't it a big risk having your king on the front lines? The royal standard is on display above the Baldar Basilica to indicate his Ouch. majesty's presence. It serves as a warning. A the Imperials know there will be a reckoning if they attack now. Nothing set in stone. But can we turn this all around with Midas's help? I mean, he was one of the three wise men. Do not speak as if years of history and tension can be undone in a single night. Yeah, one can hope, Breaking right? our current formation just for Maester Midas would serve as nothing more than an invitation for the Empire to commence their attack. Letty, tell me something. What exactly is it you intend to ask of Midas in the first place? If you are considering playing at the idea of forming a band of semiomancers, I am in vehement opposition. Furthermore, we have no sufficient proof that this ragtag band that follows you are not, in actuality, Imperial spies. Oh, they are hurts. nothing of the sort, I assure you. I believe both you and Her Highness speak true, Sir Albert. But it is not I who needs convincing. His Majesty's brother, Duke Clemrath, currently presides over the royal city. I will not have free reign under my father's orders. Ray, Helena, I cannot guarantee your safety. You must understand. My hands are tied until the tensions at Baldar ease. I hear where you're coming from, but you're talking like the war's already begun. What would you know? Well, if left unchecked, spies could run amok, raise cities to the ground. But if espionage on the home front was such a chief concern, why would the king be sent to the front lines? <laughs> a harsh criticism. Sounds like you've assumed from the start that everything Leticia's doing is a waste of time. What's wrong with a princess fighting tooth and nail to do what's best for her kingdom? Neon, if permitted by my father, I am sure the general could be convinced. Or even your lord father, cousin Theo. What? Consider the situation. I doubt it will be easy to entreat my father concerning a prisoner of war or the sudden return of Maester Midas. It would be best if I spoke with him directly. Wait, your highness. Baldar would be thrown into a disarray if you were to venture there now. This is of the highest import for the future of the kingdom. Do not worry. I will not disrupt a thing. No one shall be the wiser of my presence. Like that, Say something, be. Sir Albert, Commander Theo. When her highness speaks thusly, there is no changing her mind. Just so. Currently, ah! a permit is required for all who would enter Baldar. Come, grant her passage, Neon. Who knows what she may do if you choose not to. God Very dang well. it! But do be careful. The situation at Baldar may very well erupt into chaos at a moment's notice. Thank you, Neon, Cousin Theo. Apologies, everyone, but I will not be accompanying you to Baldar. After all, Kato still needs someone to defend it. We understand. Thank you, cousin. Letty, if you sense any danger, turn back immediately. And that goes for Ray and the others as well. We will, rest assured. And Albi, please continue to watch over Letty for me. I will do what I can. You sound as if you've given up already. I suppose you're my only hope then, Ray. I'll see what I can do. Have <laughs> I no one to count on? Ray, let us pay Maester Midas a visit. He is like as not to be in the Semiomancy Consortium. Right on, let's do it. Let's go see if we can fix Albert's arm. Yes, 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 The Semiomancy Consortium is located on the east side after departing the palace. Yes, 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 y
You shall see the Semiomancy Consortium. Thank you. You've already said it a million times. Shut up. Shut up. I can't go out that way. That's no good. Gotta go fast. Gotta go back up here. What? Ah! How's it not again? showed it to Leticia. I admit it. How could I not? I shared in her anguish. If our knights are to face the Imperials, we will have need of them. Do not suffer children their foolish dreams. You are why I find myself here. Hmm? Maester Midas, Director Melfia. Ah, I am relieved to see you return in good health, Princess Leticia. And who are you? I am Melthea, the director here at the Osiris Semiomancy Consortium. A pleasure to meet you. Oh, likewise. Midas was just telling me of the pleasant journey you all had together. So, how did talks go with that twit Neon? Well... Well... Um, so now we're heading straight for Baldar. And for what? I said I would support Albert and Elena. But I will rescind that promise if you intend to risk your life so meaninglessly. Our good friend Chloe is being held captive in Baldar. We have to get to her. You understand, this is not up for debate. Hmm. I will not prostrate myself before the king. Go, return with your friend. I shall await here. Thanks. Midas. <laughs> you seem to understand Maester Midas quite well. Uh... Let us speak of the matter upon your return. <sighs> you have places to go and people to free. I truly pray time is on your side, Raymond. Let us make haste to Baldar. We have not the time to dawdle here any longer. Well, tough luck. You don't have a choice because we are done for this episode. I think this one might actually have been a little bit shorter. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'll figure that out when all these episodes have been edited. These are all pre-recorded after all. So, I have no idea how long they're all going to turn out once they've edited them. But, anyways, that's not for you guys to worry about. But still, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this. We'll go ahead and we'll free our buddy Cleo in the next episode. But until then, sit back, relax, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now, everyone. Have a good night.